I'll tell you what, I had a CIA agent on my podcast um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was interesting. I said to him, I said, listen, dude, I, I know that there's tell things. Tell me the f secrets. Yeah, exactly. I'll jerk Mother you off. I'll, or, I'll, or I'll jerk you off? Yes. Why not? Or I'll jerk you off? Yes. Or oh, I'll okay. jerk you off. Okay. And, um, and so I do, I get wild, you know, I it. have a fun pod. Whatever. And, and so, and so I, I said to him, what is, I know that you can't say stuff. I know that there's secrets. I'm aware. But like what you as an individual, he, you have, he has a wife, kids. I said, what keeps you up at night? What have you learned through your past 20 years that genuinely keeps you up at night where you're like, fuck, I wish I never knew that. And I'm paralyzed with fear because of this secret that the American public doesn't know. He was like, there's a couple that's a of great question. Oh, I'm a professional. Fuck, that's a really uh, good question. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, you can take it. You can have it. Um, so, so they, so, so there's, so there's, um, so there's, he said, there's a couple of things. Obviously, I can't tell you. It's like secrecy and, you know, sworn. But if you got this guy drunk and jerked him off, he'd probably tell you. A hundred percent. Okay. So uh, I said, what, what, you know, what is it? And he said, the thing that I can share with you, this isn't the number one thing, but this is up there. He goes, the thing that I can share with you is our power grid, our, we can be put back to the stone age, like pre-colonial times with in five minutes, if our enemy gets at our power grid, he said our power grids are the most vulnerable power grids of any first world nation. People will be able to hack them in a second and you would have upwards of 100 million people dead in this country alone within six months. He was like, because you, I'm talking about no power, no water supply, nothing. For six months, we would not be able to get it up for at least six months. He goes, now we're working retroactively to upgrade these things. Should we be things. saying this? Like well, he said, you know, it's pretty public knowledge to the powers that be. Um, but he said that is a thing that absolutely we are in jeopardy of. He was like, it's not a nuke. No one's going to nuke us. No one's going to invade mainland USA. He goes, you know, even terrorists, it's like it might happen again, but it's not going to. It's not going to debilitate you. He's like, we stop this shit all the time where we're really, you know, weapons and all that. We're so far ahead of every other country. It's not even close. But someone's going to come flip a light switch. and we're. Fucked. He said, but that's how they'll get you. He said, if China's going to go into a world war with us or Russia, mostly China, though, he said, it's not they're not. No, we're not invading them. They're not invading us. It's not going to happen. And he and he said he and he, and he was like being diplomatic about it. He was like our army. Our military is 10 times better than anybody else's military in the world. We would crush China in a fight. People, he said, whatever the, uh, people want to say about U.S. military being weak and what, it's all bullshit. We, we, we spend, he was like, we spend our military budget is more than every other country's budget combined. He was like, but it is stupid. We don't, there's no reason to have these weapons like this anymore because they can hit our power grid and then we're all fucked. And that's what we're vulnerable at where other countries aren't. He said other countries have taken money and instead of building nukes and tanks and you know flying fucking soldiers, they're upgrading their, their uh, tech systems that they're impenetrable. So he was like, so that's, that's the thing that keeps me up at night. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know, dude. Gone. Jesus yeah. Christ. No, he, told that, he told us some shit, dude. It was crazy. He see. So there's also another conspiracy. This is an interesting one. And, and what and it didn't, you know, like like make it on the pod. And, I, and you know, we edit everything out. But he was saying that because I there was a conspiracy. That one of my friends brought to my attention that, you know, when Trump travels, he still travels with a presidential motorcade, which like no ex president, tra Obama, nobody gets that. It's, it would be like two million dollars a fucking day just to travel. You can't do it. He has still has a full presidential motor wherever that guy goes, fucking motorcycles, limos, every, Fuck yeah. same shit, because some people think there's a conspiracy about some type of clause that he signed maybe before January 6th after where he's actually still the president. He still has all the presidential power. What and the? somehow I don't know. It's it's deep. It's what? deep. It's deep. Right. It's fucking deep out there. And that Biden's not really the president. Trump still is based off this motorcade. So this is cut out of the podcast? Yeah. So I brought that up to him. So I brought that up to him. Fuck? I brought that up to him and he goes, uh, I can't comment on that. I won't comment on that. And he goes, as a matter of fact, edit out. You even asking me that question. I swear to Christ. What and I was like, what? Fuck? And then he was open to anything else. He was like, edit that out. And then when we were leaving, he goes, make sure you edit out that question. I don't, don't even ask me that. I was like, sure. What the well, fuck? You've confirmed it. Should we put that in? I mean, bro, that's, bro, that's. 
I, I mean, mean it, it just none of it makes sense. Then it doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. He's it's 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 one of those things where listen, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the intricacies of the political world. Of I don't not. know any of that shit. But I do think. I mean, uh, we know how dirty it is now. I mean. There is no difference between the Biden family and the Trump family. There's no it's all the same shit. It's all the same things. It's just and somebody like I use my mom as a gauge of things. I usually use my mom as a gauge of if you're really actually famous, my mom would know who you are, because like that's how you know you're like, I mean, fame is a, is a different thing now. It's like, yeah, fame isn't what it used to be. It's not it's not the same metrics anymore. But like my mom, like she is a your classic American citizen that sees the news and believes that nobody's lying and that what the news tells me is hard fact and truth. She's like a classic mom. Like, I will not question it. You know, alcohol is good for you because the government said marijuana is bad for you because the government made it illegal. And that's, there's just no further thinking. I go to church. I don't care that they molested little boys. I go to church because that's what Jesus tells me to do. Like, that's how she is. And even she now, even she is starting to be like, you know, these politicians are bad people, honey. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, they are, mom. It's yes, that, but are. that's the crazy thing is like my mom, very similar. I'm just shocked that there's people like willing to attack each other like so like crazy on the Internet about this opposing viewpoints that it's like what, what you're saying, I believe to be entirely true is like right. it's all fucked up. But well, like people want to be like, but I'm right, though. Well, even we'll see even that with social media, it's like or the Internet, it's like you can't. How mm -hmm. do you know you're not arguing with some bot? You might be arguing with AI all the time. I don't argue with any any negative comment I see on social media. I genuinely believe in my heart that's probably a bot. That's all the other America's enemies, whoever you think they are, maybe even America themselves to cause division. I don't fucking know anymore. Are spending billions of dollars a year on AI technology to cause division. So when you have someone fighting with you or you see something, some type of meme or whatever, it's probably not real. It's probably not human at all. It's some AI algorithm programming coder guy that was paid to cause div division. Some Saudi Arabian, some Russian. They're, they're just doing this. What because the fuck is the point of it? The division? Just to keep people the, weak and stupid? That and then they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money on war. They make a lot of money when people watch the news. When, when, we're all, when we get divided and we get upset about something and we watch the news that night to see a debate, to see our, our side heard on Fox News or CNN or what have you, they make a lot of money, man. You know, the, the, the ad companies make a lot of money when, we, when they get a lot of viewers. And the social media companies make a lot of money when we're on their app. So they're like, how do we get people there? We keep them mad. We keep them divided. You know what's funny about this? I remember this was like, I guess, during COVID or pre-COVID. When did, when did Trump become president? 2016 pre-COVID. So yeah. pre-COVID. And then, then it was like to go re-elected at what year? He got re-elected in 2020. Okay. No. No, no, no. Yes, he did. He didn't. Yeah, well, that's well, that's he, based on the CIA. He's guy. my like, president. I'm saying. Sorry, he's not yours. That's, no, he's the best. He's the but, president. So sorry, Donnie. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But so listen. So here's the thing, right? I remember uh, during that whole like, you yeah. know, they're you know Biden this shit they're coming. I was like, wow, this this actually makes sense to me. It felt like because. Uh, mainstream media was dying so crazy. Cause do you remember that? Do you remember that period when like Trump came onto Twitter mm -hmm. and then everyone on social media and everyone on the internet was like, was like picking things he would tweet and put it on. Like it'd be all over Instagram. It was everywhere. Like his presence as a president, like presidency started to feel like social media prior to that. Like <clears throat> everyone prior never felt like, Oh, this is everyone in the world's talking about in the world as in our world, social media world, the Western world. We're all talking about, the election and the presidency and like this, mm -hmm. this corruption, this or that. I remember sitting back and being like, holy shit, this is the point where mainstream media realize how much power they've lost and how much viewership they've lost. And this is their massive play, President Trump, this big character to push everyone's interest to social media in politics. Sure. And after that, it's just been like, everyone is just like attacking each other as I guess people would have prior to like this like inception from like mainstream media trickling into into social media and like yeah that's what i remember thinking like this is crazy because now it's like like because imagine if you don't have the people's eyes or ears because no one's tuning in anymore on the television how are you dividing or controlling or like moving people and and trump became that president that pushed everyone to like to that oh right now it's relevant on social media right because i remember that very clearly yeah i think well now you know all the powers that be 
the money, the advertising money, like you said, it's all on social media. It's all, that's where it's all being pumped to, to the YouTube. Yeah, every, the- every headline was so fucking negative. And I just remember thinking like, people don't realize that, because this is the truth, everyone listening, people don't realize that if you could, uh, say you're on Twitter and you're CNN or Fox and you could be like, Ugh, CNN did this shit a bunch. They were like, it was like, basically like if you're in this demographic, like almost like you're going to die of COVID. So if like, you're like, wait, I'm 35. You click on that link. The more people they can click on that link, the more money they could charge an advertiser to sit on their page and like a little sidebar so that they, because they go, we have all these people who are 35 to this age. Like they're literally targeting the demographic right. they want that an advertiser is going to them saying how many people from this demographic and they're like targeting it with a negative news headline to get those people in the sure, door sure. to push them to a product that's sitting on the sidebar on a website. Right. When before it was like, you're getting people to tune into a television where it's like shooting it and then there's like this, you know, this pharmaceutical uh, advertisement or there's this other advertisement that was paying there and that's all dying. Now they're just translating everything over to the internet and people don't realize that. No, and they get, they get stuck. They get so angry at, you know, like people make it their whole identity to hate someone they don't even know. Like, yeah. th- like they'll, like, like I made a decision in my life where it's like, if I don't know you personally, you, ca- I won't let you affect my life positive or negative. You do, you just, I can't let you affect my well being because it, 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 you're taking in. Like, I'll, I'll listen to people, you know, be like, I hate Trump or I hate Biden. I'm like, you don't know them. You know clips that the media shows you of them. You have, yeah. you don't even. You're ne- you're making this up. You've never met these people. Yeah. You've never met the actress or actor you hate. You don't know Kim Kardashian. Yeah. You just know the little shit that served to you. Why are you letting this affect your everyday life? If if someone you know personally is in your space and all, sure, I, I get that. But other than that, I'm like, it. And I was victim to it. But then I got to a point where I was like. What, I know we're all one and I know we're all connected. I believe in that, especially having kids. I believe in the spirituality of it. I believe that. Like, I get it. But it's also like you have to protect your sanity a little bit where it's like, guy, what the fuck do you want me to do about Ukraine? I can't help you. I don't know what you want me to do. What do you want me to do that there's injustices in fucking Give in them San, all your money, dude. in San Francisco? What the fuck do you want me to do? I, I live in New York. I live in a fucking three bedroom apartment in New York. Give them all your money, man. Seriously. You're just greedy. It's fucked up. Yeah, I know. That's what they want. It's like, I'll just, oh, yeah. So I just don't, I, I watch the local news. I, you know, I, I'm a comedian. You know, you're supposed to be informed. I'm like, I just talk about what happens in my family. I don't care about what's going on in the news anymore. I really, I, what, if, if we're going to get, I'll deal with it when it's on my doorstep. When the yeah. Chinese knock and tell me get in the prison camp, I'll say, great. My, my two-year-old's been working for you guys a long time. Please give us a nice cell. <laughs> yes. Her name is Min yes. Fong. <laughs> 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 <laughs>